So good Tuesday morning, everybody, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. Um, we have a lot going on this week, as you know. We big rehearsal day for the CEE Retail Awards and Marketplace, and we're starting that tomorrow. So big event, anything retail, e-commerce, e logistics, retail development, finance, meeting retailers, Tomorrow and Thursday are the probably the only two days of the year where you're gonna be able to meet all these people in one place. We've got a great phone app that shows you how that you can mix and match with mix and meet all the other attendees. Really exciting stuff. The, the, and um, so it's live and online Tuesday, or Wednesday, Thursday. Tomorrow we have two great panels, some business, some mixing online. Uh, through the app, which really works well, and also our CEO uh, mix, mix, our CEO networking, which is on a huge Zoom call. We put everyone on Zoom. Everyone gets to talk a little bit about their business, about what they're doing. Very great day, couple of days. Very busy. Um, a lot of interesting, a lot of interesting um, awards that are going to be offered, and really a lot of companies that have really done well, thrived in this situation. You're going to be able to meet them. So uh, very exciting couple of days. We might, you might not see us on Coffee with Craig the next two days, because we'll, but you will definitely see us all day on the retail awards. So anyway, kicking off the week here Tuesday, Winston, great to see you, and uh, thank you for uh, you know of course. Of course, uh, catching up and doing a recap of the news on the Europa property site. For, and if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe as soon as you can. You get great discounts off of other things. Also, I think you get a free coffee with Craig Bug if you're a subscriber as well. So those That's are going fast. Great incentive. Those are going fast, and the coffee's always better when you drink it out of a coffee with Craig Bug. Okay, Winston, let's jump into the news. Give us the exciting. Uh, things that are happening today. Yeah, thanks Craig. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, today I've, uh, I've selected a few things from the website and some interesting news from, yeah. from a Belgian developer. Uh -huh. uh, uh, this is Allides, and they, they have purchased uh, an impressive waterfront uh, property in Gdansk. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And this is their... Uh, this new, is their new developer, a new, uh, new um, investor, yeah? A new investor, but uh, apparently in 2017, they, they, uh, this is their second uh, investment oh, in okay. Gdansk. Mm -hmm. they, built, they, uh, they bought the uh, Imperial Shipyards All right. in okay. 2017. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, and according to Rickard Lehman, uh, the, this, this new, new uh, acquisition uh, fits, fits perfectly into their, uh, their long-term investment strategy of mm -hmm. holding on to uh, uh, assets. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah, and moving on. Uh, so it's staying with the investment market. Mm -hmm. we, we go to the Czech Republic, and um, in spite of uh, the COVID nineteen pandemic, um, the Czech Republic recorded a two point seven billion euros worth of investment last year. Uh huh. Two point seven billion. Two point yeah. seven billion, billion euros. Wow. Okay. Uh, so they're doing okay. It seems to be okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, mm -hmm. and um, it's only eleven percent down. Mm -hmm. on the transaction volume from the year before. Okay. So uh, not a disaster. I mean, everyone probably expects a little bit down, right? Because no, according of, yeah. to Savills, you know, investors, the investment appetite for the Czech Republic is very, very high. Mm -hmm. And um, offices were the most dominant sector. Uh-huh, okay. Uh, in, in the <coughs> second half of last mm -hmm. year, interestingly enough, retail was the second. Wow, okay. Yeah, we know well, you have Cushman there, number one on the retail market, probably pushing pushing some deals through. Yeah, yeah, I think there's probably mm -hmm. one one big deal that probably boosted the prices up there, mm -hmm. or the volume up. And uh, uh, lastly was was logistics, which is you know a, a little bit different to what's going on in Poland. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems you know logistics use way out in front by far, and interesting that in Czech Republic it's the third asset class at the moment. Yeah, and Wojtek Wolf mm -hmm. uh, from Savills. Uh, he said, although the uh, investors had a subdued 2020, mm -hmm. you know, the, the, they are actually very, very keen on the Czech, Czech market, and you know, they're, they're interested in logistics set sectors, the office sectors, and the residential sectors. Great. Okay, and moving forwards, we've got uh, European Logistics Investment has just added a new development in Poland. Mm -hmm. Logistics development. They've brought, okay. they've brought, uh, or they're developing a Krakow uh, logistics. Uh, last mile facility mm -hmm. in, in partnership with Panatoni Europe. This will be for InPost. 
Yeah, impost. Is that 6,000? Is that the 6,000 square meter? No, this meter? is a different one. A oh, different one, okay. So the yeah. cash impost is doing a lot. Yeah, they're doing a lot, mm -hmm. yeah. And um, according to Hubert Rosser from uh, European Logistics Investment, uh, he says that this, this uh, he says that Krakow is one of the undersupplied markets and offers many opportunities for last mile and fast delivery options. So this is uh, mm -hmm. one of the reasons they're developing down there. And uh, Robert Dobritsky from Panatoni, uh -huh. he chips in and again he, he just um, is saying that uh, you know the e-commerce clients like Impost, mm -hmm. you know the the demand and the uh, the needs of these of these e-commerce uh, companies is just very very is huge now. All right, and we'll hear from Robert tomorrow because he's on our logistics panel. Yeah, so we will. Great. Yeah, yeah. And this this is some news that interests you, Craig, because I know how much you like this company. Um, Jabka has opened its seven thousand store in Poland. Wow. Yeah, and I really like Jabka because they're just you can see two or three from wherever you're at. You know where yeah. the next job. You can is. always get your daily. Daily shopping needs met. Daily healthy hot dog for two Zwadis That's down right. at the Jabka. We're so happy there's one in this And building. according okay. to Tomasz Szukanski, the mm -hmm. president of the board at Jabka Polska, mm -hmm. uh, he says that uh, our, their, their chain of franchises and associates, mm -hmm. they have 5,600 local entrepreneurs running 7,000 stores across Poland, mm -hmm. and uh, they've got 25,000 jobs in total. Wow. Well, there's a retailer that's that's thrived and survived the, uh, you know, I think they were doing pretty well before COVID, but it sounds like they're doing well. And with this franchising, it looks like they're giving people an opportunity to actually own and run their own business. Exactly. And mm -hmm. they're focusing on the on the smaller towns in Poland now mm -hmm, with mm -hmm. the under 50,000 populations. And, um, you know, in the, in the last year, they've, they've, they've entered 78, 78 of these locations. Wow. Well, one thing I've noticed too about job, because they've turned into more of like a little you know, before I was always thinking of them as, oh, they've got, you know, 50% of their products are alcohol and cigarettes and snacks. And now I see they've got a lot more fruit and different things and whatever, diapers and kind of like a little family store they've morphed it into. Yeah, they've been able to take advantage of the, mm -hmm. of the last year, I think, and they offer like a mini mart. Well, good. 7,000 stores. Well done. Okay. Yeah, and finally for today, Optim Project Management, management from, from Romania. There's another company I like. Yeah, they've okay. expanded into Belgrade okay. and offering its services there. Um, I mean, they first had experience in Serbia uh, in, from a few years ago, from 2017 to 2020, mm -hmm. where they were uh, involved in the construction of Belgrade Waterfront and the Galleria. Mm. Um, Gallery and Mall that's that's just opened there last year. Right, Gallery Belgrade Gallery or Gallery. Mall, that's right. right yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and uh, they also had um, they were working for a, a manufacturing or helped uh, the, with the project management on a on a manufacturing facility in Novi Sad. Oh, okay, okay. So they're doing a lot of projects there. Yeah, already. that was a that was a thirty thousand square meter factory. All right. So now they finally opened an actual office there. To, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, good. I guess that's David Evans probably working on expanding the company, I would think, yeah? Yeah, and, you know, and according to David, he says like the, the market is heat, heating up, the local oh, market, mm -hmm. and, and now is, is a great opportunity for them to enter this market and um, you know, to can you continue their expansion across Southeast Europe, so I don't think it's right. stopping in Serbia. All right, well, he's the expert down there for, the, for project management, so great to see that things are going well. Yep. Um, is that it for the, the news today? That's it for the news kind of today. The yeah. All right. Well, excellent. News will be updated throughout the day. Yeah, so. yeah, sure. No, excellent. Well, thanks a lot for that. Everybody, we will see you tomorrow at the CEE Retail Awards. Sign up today. It's a great opportunity to meet a load of people that you probably have been missing for a while. And hey, time to do some business with them. So enjoy the day. See you tomorrow at the Retail Awards.